hello everyone who is watching this video this is another session about learning basics of interventional cardiology so today's topic is guide catheter management in the beginning when we are learning intervention we know the guide catheter engagement is quite different in compare to the diagnostic catheter engagement of the coronaries their feel is different the structure is different now I'm not here to tell you all the components how it's made up of all the stuff you can find in the books I'm here to talk about once you have engaged the guide catheter into the coronary once you're passing the wire balloon what all to watch out for and what you should be paying attention for so once we engage the catheter we have taken our guide shot if creatinine allows put up the guide shot as our road map on the second screen and now we are going to wire the coronary lesion and here our wire comes it's advancing through the guide catheter and the wire you pass into the coronaries now any resistance faced by this guide wire in its passage can lead to your guide tip or entire guide system to push back it can literally push back your guide system so you want to make sure in the beginning when until you find your uh, distal site or as I uh, as I say uh, the parking site distally for your wire you should be paying also attention to your guide system guide tip and the moment you feel any uh, guide uh, re resistance uh, pushing your guide out you should re-engage it um, now you're advancing the balloon over the wire and you want to balloon the lesion and right here is your balloon or stent whatever the uh, device you have used either it's a balloon or it's a stent over balloon you have finished your walk now next step is to pull back your um, device whether as I said whether it's balloon or it's a stent when you pull back you will see a phenomena what would be that phenomena that phenomena is as you pull there is so this is a law of energy whenever every action has equal and opposite reaction so you have to understand when you're trying to pull the, out the device your guide is gonna get sucked back in the reaction in the reaction and it's gonna suck back in a couple of things which can go dangerous one it can literally dissect your left main which will be horrible what else it can do if you had a previous stent or you just placed stent in the left main ostium it can cause longitudinal stent deformity so both are not good so how to prevent all that that's why you have to pay attention to the tip of your guide catheter as soon as you're trying to pull the device you should pull back pull back your guide you can literally rail the guide or the wire which is in your hand here and almost you can disengage the guide if you would like and then you pull back your device into the guide and as soon as you pull back you give that all stored energy back to re-engage and that's how you manage the guide catheter while putting in device or pulling out device at the same time this is the time to take another cine uh, or, or, or more specifically angiogram after you have placed this tent you have to re-engage the guide so your hands should quickly switch, switch to the uh, re-engagement of the guide and that's how we manage the guide catheter so that's all it was just a basic steps for uh, for the interventional fellows who are in the early months of training 
Uh, we'll be back with some more basic training tips. Thank you so much.